Andrew Dugill with Hoffman Realty Tampa Property Management. Now we manage rental properties throughout the Tampa Bay area. And today what I'd like to talk about is how to screen and find your perfect tenant. You know, the number one thing that you can do as a landlord to have a good experience is to place a really good tenant in your property. You know, no amount of really great attorney crafted clauses in your lease or good landlordship or good property management ship is going to make up for not having a good tenant. So how do you go about finding a good tenant? Well, what you need to know is how that tenant behaved in the past because their past behavior is going to indicate how they're going to behave in the future when they're living in your rental property. And we do that with a background screening. And here at Hoffman Realty we recommend you screen for four things. And that is criminal background, do they have the ability to pay the rent? How have they treated their landlords in the past? And do they pay their bills? So let's break those down a little bit. So criminal background, we recommend that you do a nationwide criminal background search. I mean, you don't want an ax murderer or a drug dealer in your property. And we also recommend that you do a nationwide sex offender search as well. You know, again, you don't want a, like a licensed sexual predator living in your property guarantee you we hearing from your neighbors if you do that. And something else that we do that we recommend you do is you do an international terrorist database search as well. I mean, the September the 11th, terrorists rented houses in Florida for nearly two years, you may recall. You need to make sure, number two, that the person can afford to live in your house. So, so you should do an employment verification and you should verify really every reliable source of income and get that in writing. And if they're self-employed, you want tax returns or 1099s to verify their income. And if they're qualifying based on their assets, you know, verify them. You know, see bank statements, go look at brokerage statements, make sure that money is there. You want to know as well, number three, how they have behaved in the past as renters. So we recommend going to their past landlords, and we, we'd like to go to the last two and go directly to them and find out how they were as renters. Don't let the renter give you a reference letter from the current landlord. Go to that landlord and find out. And also, we recommend doing a, a nationwide eviction search. I mean, if that person has ever been evicted by a landlord, really you don't want them. And then finally, have a look at their credit report. See if there's any landlord debt in their credit report. That means that they failed to pay a landlord in the past and that landlord had to resort to putting them up to collection to get paid. If you have any of those things, I wouldn't rent to them. Finally, you want to see if they have a habit of paying their bills. So look at their credit. Not just their credit score, but we like to look for things like, for example, bankruptcy. If the person is currently in a bankruptcy, it's really not a good idea to rent to them because they could take your rental and put it into the bankruptcy and then not pay rent. And then it's going to be months and lots of legal fees petitioning the bankruptcy court to try and get them to pay the rent. So we find if you screen for these four things and the person comes through with flying colors, you found your great renter. This is Andrew Dugo with Hoffman Realty, Tampa Property Manager. We manage properties throughout the Tampa Bay area. If you've got questions about this blog, please give us a call.